Hey, good morning everybody, it's Mike, and thanks for jumping on here with me today. This week, we're, I'm talking about and sharing a few tips that uh, I found and learned over time can just make our lives so much smoother, so much easier, and take the stress, so much of the stress, out of the real estate transaction for our customers, and, and maybe for ourselves a little bit. Uh, it just uh, there's some stress that's unavoidable. There's some stress I think we're creating for ourselves, right? So let's cut that out. Yesterday we started off by talking about closings. Would, for the love of God, please quit scheduling closings on the last couple of days of every month. You're making life impossible for the lender, for the closing attorney, for yourself, for the customers. We're trying to cram in most of the volume in this industry in the last couple of days of every month. And it just makes it so stressful. And I get that your customers are going to want to. But we keep talking about this, right? The role of the modern agent is to be a trusted advisor. Your kids might want to eat macaroni and cheese for dinner every night. It doesn't mean they should. Your customers might want to close on Friday the 30th. It doesn't mean they should. And it's our role to kind of say, yeah, I know why you want to do that, but maybe I can give you a couple of reasons why you might not want to do that and things that they wouldn't be aware of. It's going to cause a lot more stress on you. Today, I want to go a different direction. And this is the stress that we as agents cause on ourselves. You know, last week I had an agent uh, come in and they looked tired and worn out. So I was just kind of asking them, what's going on? You look really tired today. Oh, I'm just working all the time. I'm like, well, what do you mean? Well, you know, I was up till midnight last night working on a deal. I'm like, why were you up till midnight last night working on a deal? What was going on? Well, we were right up against the end of our due diligence period and we had to get it I'm like, when did your due diligence period expire? Well, at 11.59 last night. That's why we had to get it all in. That's why I was working on it at 11, 11.30, right up till the deadline. Yeah, I know. I see this all the time. Why are we making our deadlines at 11.59 at night? Why are you setting your deadlines up to expire on weekends? Why are we doing that? You can make your deadline expiration be whatever you choose it to be. Why are you setting it up to be 11.59 p.m. on a Friday night? Like, how hard can you make it on yourself? And then I say this. If you choose to do that, uh, I don't want to hear you whine about it. You then forfeit your right to play the victim and to be whiny and talk about how hard you're working and how late it is and whoa the burden on me because I'm just going to say why are you doing that? Why don't you set your deadlines up to expire before five o'clock on business days? Why not? And I would. Going into it uh, due diligence period expirations, appraisal, um, our time limit of response to offers, all these things that have deadlines on them. Why don't you do yourself a favor and set those deadlines up to expire within normal operating business hours? And if you say, well, you know, our due diligence was going to set to expire at 11.59 p.m. on Friday night, and uh, we really needed to get this done, I'd go, well, I would have set it to expire like 2 o'clock that following Monday. Are you telling me that a day or two makes that much difference? Oh, yes, it does. No, you're making the important sound urgent. And everything that's important is not urgent. As a matter of fact, it's one of the great things about being in the real estate business. Very little of what we're going to touch this year is urgent. It's not a hospital. Okay? So my urging to you to make your life much smoother and eliminate the stress and anxiety from your customers 
and actually make this a good gig where you can say, yeah, no, I enjoy my work. It's very rewarding is to quit setting up crazy rules for yourself that are optional. Just use normal business hours and set your deadlines to expire then. And you'll run into other agents that don't do that. Counter it. They don't know what they're doing. They don't have anybody around them telling them, offering a better, different way of doing it. So they just do what people do, is they just say, well, it's gonna expire on midnight on Friday. And then everybody is working at 10.30 on Friday night on a real estate transaction, and there was no need for it. So you want to eliminate the stress and the anxiety? Well, you can't eliminate it. That's crazy talk. But there's some things we can do to reduce it for ourselves and for our customers. Quit closing on the last couple of days of each month and tell people why they would benefit not doing that. Watch how you set your, your deadline expiration dates and times. And dial in tomorrow and I've got an even better one for you. And again, if we did all this, what do you think? You think we'd be going out and making it happen for ourselves?